everybody Ruben Texas all water fishing and this is a quick little tip now right before I head out to the water I just want to show you guys um, kind of what I fish with how I rig my rods up and reels up especially if I'm kayak fishing now when I am kayak fishing or fish from the boat I take I tend to take anywhere from three maybe four rods with me especially if I'm in my kayak if I'm by myself and the reason for that is because I want to be versatile I want to be able to fish with different kind of lures i want to be able to fish with different kind of style of lures i want to be able to have a, a top water out there maybe or and i always always carry a cork with me so if this isn't something that, that you normally do and you maybe you take one or two rods with yourself and you just just take saw plastic only then this might be a good idea a good way for you to kind of open up and explore a little more and try different style of baits not just saw plastic but hard plastic top water spoons maybe even some voodoo shad voodoo shrimp and and just just stuff that just not what you have to pair up with the jig head not that soft plastic you have to pair up with the jig head but i'm gonna get out my truck and i'm gonna show you real fast this is just a quick tip and how i rig and set up my rod and reels all right so real quick i'm gonna go through my rod setup typically what i like to do i like to have a rod that i use that i'm gonna change out a lot this one right here is going to be like maybe if I'm throwing top water or spoons or voodoo like this. In this case is a voodoo shad. I have a rod that I'll have a rod and reel that I have designated for that. And then I'll typically have my rod that I have designated for my soft plastics where I will use. If I'm using like a, just a jig head with a soft plastic or maybe even a gope. This is what I run with. And then you, you guys, you know me. I like to use a cork. A lot of times, I'm particularly fond of woody corks. Although, Coastal Corks makes a great cork, and as so does the Full Horseman cork. I like them too. But I will typically have a rod that I have designated for my cork rod. And if you know me, you know I like that Voodoo Shrimp. But I will, I will go away from that. I'll put a Gope on. Sometimes I put a DSL on. Uh, maybe even some of the other shrimp the shrimp companies out there that make other shrimps that other companies make like H2 Express makes a nice shrimp as well and Texas Rattle and Kid they make a nice shrimp too typically I'll go with anywhere from a 2000 to 3000 spinning reel now I'm really fond of spinning reels versus bait cast. I've just been fishing with spinning reels for a really long time. So a lot of times when I'm in a like when you're fishing out of the kayak, you're in a tight pinch, you want to make that certain cast at a certain angle. To me, a spinning reel is just more accurate just because I'm more used to throwing it. On this one, I have a Sedona, it's 2500 You know, and like I said, I will throw a bait cast. And on this bait cast, this is my meta. It's the H2 Express meta. I really like this one. It's very durable. I haven't had any issues with it at all. I've probably had it for almost two years now. And what do we have here? We have another Shimano. It's a uh, 3000. And I've been using these Tech 40s. Academy sent me these Tech 40s. I really like them. I like to stick around at medium light. This is a medium fast heavy. With the cork gives it a little more backbone so you can have that more pop. This one is medium fast, seven foot one. And this one right here is, I think this is a, where are we at? This is a 610 fast, medium, light. Now, this one I'll probably use to weight fish. Now, when you're weight fishing, or at least me, you know, I like to get under 7 foot with my rods just because it's so much easier to net the fish. But this is a quick setup. You know, like I said, I'll have one, one rod and reel combo for my saw plastic one with my cork and then another one which i will make interchangeable whether i'm going to throw a cast master spoon or i'm going to throw a rattle trap or i'm going to throw a top water i'll have that one designated where that one's going to switch off and then reason why i have one just for my soft plastic because a lot of times i'll just leave the jig head on and i'll switch off just change the soft plastic in and out in this case i do have a texas rattling jig head and it's a little heavier, so I'm going to kind of be targeting flounder today. So that's kind of how I set it up. It's based on what I think where I'm going, the water clarity is what I'm going to put on. 
so the water clarity is a little dirty but I'm gonna mess around and see if I can get them on some of this little shiny sparkling stuff because we do have a lot of shad in the water right now and that's why I went with the voodoo shad today but like I said it isn't be dirty so I have that smaller shrimp profile on there with a darker shrimp but yeah this is my rod setup typically take this when I'm in the kayak although today I am gonna be fishing out of a boat I might be doing a little weight fishing but we'll see